I filmed this whole Caraval look and I love it. This look was pretty random. If you can tell, it's an ombre purple glitter eye. I got silver in the inner corner, a light lavender in the middle, and then a dark purple like in the outer V. And then you can see the gems across my eyes that match with it. You know, your girl try to be a little festive. And I like my hair is not pulled back in the video. I kind of wish I did, but I, I had to show off my inches. <laughs> I had to show off my God given inches. The gems, people are going to ask me the gems. I got these gems from Michael's. It comes in a box like this, and it's a lot of them. And it comes in the dark purple, the light purple, and the silver. And the glitter that I use for my eyes are these ultra fine glitters. I picked them up from Hobby Lobby. There's actually a set of like 24 glitters and it's like $7.99 at Hobby Lobby and they come in these little packages. These I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I hope that it has been helpful. If y'all have any questions, make sure you leave a comment and let me know below and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button up there somewhere thank you guys for supporting me and thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial i've already started my brows i used the anastasia beverly hills dip brow in chocolate and now i'm taking the la girl concealer and fawn and that's going to be my foundation my base for my eyeshadows and the glitter i'm going into the two face semi-sweet chocolate palette and i'm going into mousse and that is the color that i'm applying for my brow bone and then i'm going into truffled with a big fluffy brush and i'm going to be applying that back and forth in my crease i'm going to go back into mousse with a clean fluffy brush to just make sure that transition between those two colors is as seamless as possible then i'm taking a shimmery lavender color and i'm applying that to half of my eyelid but i'm leaving the inner corner empty i know y'all seen that fuckery now after i applied the light lavender i'm going to take that dark purple and i'm going to pat that in the middle so i can have a smooth transition between those two colors and i'm going to take that purple and make sure i carve out that triangular shape that i want for my outer v after applying the colors, the purples, I'm taking Max Blunt and that's what I'm using to blend out the colors as seamlessly as possible. Eyelash glue is going to be the adhesive for the glitter. I took my lavender and applied it in one. I took a mixture of the lavender and the dark purple, I applied it in the middle, and the dark purple I placed at the end little painter's palette that I have here. I'm taking my lash glue and that is going to be the base and the foundation of the glitter. That is what the glitter is going to stick to, so I'm making sure I apply a generous amount. You do not want to be stingy with the lash glue because if you do not apply enough, the glitter is not going to stick. Also, be careful how you apply the glue in your outer V. You want that V to be carved out the way you want the glitter to show. I'm starting my transition with the lavender color because remember going, we're going from light to dark. I applied my lavender in the inner third, then I applied the mixture of the two colors in the middle, and now I'm applying the dark purple in that outer V and I'm making sure I pack it on. You want to pat on the glitter, not swipe, pat. <laughs> To 
to clean up the glitter around my eyes all I did was take a spoolie and swipe away and brush away those extra glitters that were in the wrong place I took a silver shimmery eyeshadow apply that into my inner tear duct and I'm cleaning up some more with some tape and I'm just picking up the excess glitter with the tape For my liner, I'm using the NYC Liquid Liner, and I'm not doing a winged eye. I'm simply just adding eyeliner to my lashes. I already primed my face with Benefits Professional. Now I'm applying my Milk of Magnesia, Milk of Magnesia, as a base. And for my foundation, I'm using Makeup Forever's HD Foundation in 177. After applying my foundation with a stippling brush, I made sure I used my beauty sponge to push it into my skin. I applied my LA Girl Concealer in Fawn so I could highlight and I'm using my Real Techniques, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and use it damp. The key to like the flawless application to me is using it damp. So I'm using that damp to blend it out and then I'm going back with my brush to make sure that my concealer is blended out. For some reason I look real ashy. I think it's because the light is a little bit too bright but eventually it all comes together. Now I'm baking with my Ben Nye Banana Powder and then we're gonna go into contouring. The lashes I applied were numbers 747 and 99 stacked. And now I am contour with a bronzer. This is the bronzer by Clean Color and the color is called Mahi Tahiti. Mahi Tahiti. Yeah, Mahi Tahiti. <laughs> To contour my nose, I went back and used Max Blunt and I contoured underneath my cheekbones. I made sure that I applied some banana powder under the contour to make it more distinctive. And now I'm going in with Max MSF in Dark Deep for my all over face powder. And now I'm going into Max Blush in Lavishing. This is a special. Um, collection they do not sell this anymore so any type of purple blush would work I'm applying mascara now to apply the colors under my lash line I'm going in the same sequence as the top I applied my silver in the inner corner I applied the lavender in the middle and now I'm applying the darker purple on the outer edges for my lippy yes this thing is the bomb this is the LA Girl 
matte lippy and stunner this thing is bomb it is life To set my face, I used the Urban Decay All Night of Spray, and I sprayed my face to get rid of that powdery look. And for my highlight, I'm using the Rose Gold Highlight from the Missy Lynn Palette. If the gems are too much for you, you don't have to do it. So you can leave the look as is, but I'm extra, so I'm gonna apply the gems. And I'm taking the back of a makeup brush and I'm some eyelash glue, and I'm basically placing the eyelash glue where I want the gems to be. I'm going to place a big silver one in the middle, and then I'm going to place some tiny silver ones in those three spaces that you guys see over each brow. Using the same process with the back of that makeup brush and the eyelash glue, I'm placing the dots of glue where I want to place my lavender gems. So now I'm placing them with tweezers. Tweezers were personally just easier for me. And then I'm going to continue the process and apply my darker purple gems. And there you have it. That is the completed carnival look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to subscribe.